Hey there, my name is Mars, and welcome to back to this hellhole called Outlast. As you may never may not know, this game I found the scariest game ever that I played. I really, really, really was glad this game was over, and then I found out there's a DLC for it! Yay! Ugh, man oh man do I have bad memories of this place. So anyways, um, yeah they brought out the DLC just today called The Whistleblower and apparently it's about the guy that sent you the initial mail that started off the whole first game, the Outlast storyline. So this is, uh, I'm guessing just at the point where shit hits the fan. Um, God. Well, might as well get it over with. I have no idea how long this game is, or the, the, the DLC is. I'm hoping just a few hours out. I can't. <laughs> you can't imagine the fear I had gone through in playing this game. It's unbelievable. Ah! Little fish. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Jeez! I'm just stalling here, so okay, let's go. Just. I'm fucked that I'm doing normal. <laughs> oh my lord. Here we go. Hi. I was glad to see that a couple of normal people at least. Ow! Eyes. You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. That, that's kind of mandatory. It Ow! Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help you. No! No! Ah! Ah! Ow! Ow! You nasty son of a bitch! Kind of busy here. Sounds like real trouble. Uh, at the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. We hope. Uh oh, not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Oh, look, a camera with infrared. That's good. Oh. Wait, isn't this the image they show Billy as well? Two hours later. So this is only two hours. That'll that will be fine. Oh, that's the mail I got in the, in the first, um, in in the main game. <sighs> you know, you could have sent that from home. I would imagine. Yeah, I'm nervous too, buddy. Okay, so now I'm playing. Hi. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Okay, we put the main console. What are you doing in here anyway? Engine. I thought you were just a software guy. Wayland, I am. Employee 1466. Report to Corpogenic Engine Monitoring immediately. Yes, sir. I'm worried about losing anti-pop-pop. My body is bad. The doctor was predicting assembly by 150. We're not being given enough information to trust Renegade's predictions. He's been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancers. <laughs> okay. You're Wayland Park, aren't you? Yeah, apparently. Why weren't you answering the page? I don't know. I'll tell them you're incoming. It's on the loo. Hello, uh, sir? Oh god, I got chills running down my spine already. That's ridiculous. Can I? No, I'm going this way. Fine. Uh, 
up Jane, and we're headed out to the lake. That sounds all right. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. The patients start to realize they haven't seen a woman or a child in shit years now, right? How long's it been since you've seen Jane? Three weeks now? That's nothing. You're serious? Sure. You got a girlfriend or somebody? I'm married. How long since you've seen her? Yeah, now these guys have families and they're all going to die. How about you? Oh, shut up. Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, God, this thing. Ah, fuck. You're cutting it close. Next patient's incoming in arterial spin. We need you at the front terminal. What do you need me for? I'm just an IT guy. They've got Gluskin out of the cell. Page him again. We need this part guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. I'm here, I'm here. Park, final. Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? I'm trying. I'm trying. There we go. That does something. Are we happy, Mr. Park? I guess. I don't know. Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. Okay, we're not doubting our friend is the Wayland Park, which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Oh, shut up. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. They're guys with machine guns. I'm, I'm. Calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'll say. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. I don't have much choice, do I? Quickly, Mr. Park. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. I'm, I'm working as hard as I can. Let's start engine. Material spin labeling is back online. Good. You start wall right at EXE. Oh god. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Yeah, you're welcome to. See if you left up from the server room. You need to exit the room, sir. Yeah, yeah. You need to get that laptop back. Or else to find out that I sent that mail. They're probably gonna to, anyway. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I just have a little bit of cough. Hi. Oh boy. Why am I playing this again? Well, at least it didn't. St it doesn't start off like. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. Oh god! Oh yeah, I was. How do I can see him? Yeah, I figured this much. Owie! Mr. Wayland Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. You're so a dick. dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Yeah, that was stupid. Stupid, Mr. Park. Yeah, I know. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. Now, don't push it too far. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Park. I said no, you Great. prick! Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine? Ah, uh, you. That's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Wayland. Yeah. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Boy. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. How about a big anesthetic? Ow. That's not light. Ow. Whistleblower. Joy? 
Uh, I don't like this. I was wondering what happened to this guy when I played the game. Like the main game. Okay, so we're back in here. They reused the sounds, that's kind of cheap. What, what? Who did that? What's going on? Oh god, hey Billy! Freaking camera. Uh, and it begins. Uh, notes. If I die. I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours come have hours could have passed. Or weeks. Brain filled with static, they make me watch the the engine. I have to get help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't. Expose the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. Yeah, quite. Okay, so how do I get out of here? Do I get out of here? Pretty flower. Fucking. I'll open you up. Open you up and show you. Make it fur. You ain't right there. Ah. Uh. Bye, asshole. Okay, that's the end of Whistleblow. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh. I wonder why they put a camcorder with infrared in here. Just going to take a much deep detour around you guys. Yes. Move! Fuck you, Billy. Get get the get the fuck away. Get the fuck away from me, Billy. Hi, guys. Join our therapy session. Uh, sort of. Take the blade. Who? Oh. Drowning our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something to regret. I guess. You're one of those. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh God. Hi. Us. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll stab him a couple of times. I'll stab him a couple of times. I don't you know. There are no observers here. No, I, I agree, I agree. Give me the knife. No. Get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Okay. 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 Not to worry. I'm out of here. Bye. Have a nice day. See you around. Hopefully not. <sighs> oh! Oh! Here. Oh. Hi, hi, hi. There, there, up there. Oh, Billy's busy in there. Okay, we're good. Oh, 
<laughs> well, this is starting out great, isn't it? Yeah, they're going to do a great job. Time. We need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here, but then we don't even know the radio works. You can try, you bloody if the prison ba -boom. They've got signals, and the lights are on. Murkoff has none control. Yeah, sure they do. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help does not without outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Murkoff Company payroll? I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. I agree with that guy. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside your help. I'm gonna give you a whole new suburb to be scared of. Oh, goody. Me? Yes. Oh. Well, thank you for clearing that up. I got a note. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming to you. My mistake was subtle. See, I like... Like you always said, I thought leaking information to a few journalists was a safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkov's dangerous, I know that. I thought I, I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed Murkov... What Murkov is doing to the world. I should shout it to anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. I can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Oh boy. Oh, 